Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. everybody. Hey, look, my screen shrinking. Oh my god, someone fixed my screen. Oh yeah, I forgot it does uh, that. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of differences between the this game and the 3DS remake. Yeah, you definitely know more about them than I do. Yeah. It, it, I do remember being people saying it's a bit more streamlined and therefore it's it less is. stressful, but people it think is. some people like I remember I saw the game explain review. Andre Seeger said like it kind of took out the anxiety which he think made it less fun because like yes. the anxiety like the stress is kind of what made it fun yeah i will also say like uh just for nostalgia i prefer the graphics of this one uh -huh. but the 3ds version looks banking that is a good looking game I'm, um, I'm kind of the same way with like conquer like i, I kind yeah. of I, even though conquer on xbox obviously objectively looks better i prefer the n64 graphics because just because i love n64 we played it on n64 yes we did yes okay. we did yeah on xbox one technically but well the Wait, n64 what? version on xbox one. Oh, okay okay yeah <laughs> that's right because there's like a remake version yeah on rare replay okay but yeah no I... no i'm on 360 where they like changed it yeah 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 and had a new style and stuff that's right herf, herf, herf. So, yeah, man, shoot, tell me about things, dude. What's new with you? Yeah. What else is new? Yeah. In the past year, man, I, I think we do have... What else? I'm just trying to think, like, what else do we have to catch people up on? I mean, those are all the main things. I'm, yeah, like I said. Our oh, James okay, actually, here's something. I remember uh, oh, oh. one thing we talked about. Um, Look at that butt. Hey, it's Spinel from Steven Universe the Movie. Doesn't he shake That's his right, butt That's right, I heard this story over and over again. He either does a uh, raspberry or a... Uh... Hey, Jen, you like the moon there? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's creepy. Yeah, tell me about it. That's... Yeah, he oh. does show his butt. That's what I thought. He moons me. I couldn't remember if he blew a raspberry like... Nah, 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 or Wait, where'd he, he go? I don't know. Did he jump on the moon? Yeah, Jen, see? This game is defined by that. The moon. That moon is... That would be creepy if you were a It gets closer every day. Oh. Yeah. It's slowly inching, slowly It's going to crash slowly. into the planet. So that's why it's like... Well, I don't, I don't want to get too into it. Well, I mean, I'm sure most of the audience knows, but we'll wait. We'll yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. We'll wait. I'll, I'll talk more about it later. I think almost everybody watching this right now has already played this game. I don't game, know who but, hasn't you know. played or seen this game. You know what's crazy to me? Like, there were a bunch of games... Like, I mean, not a bunch. There were a few games that were around before I was born, but not like a ton... But I feel like now, uh, a, there's a lot of like gem games that are like well known that were around way before a lot of kids were born. When did this come out in 99? Uh, no, this came out in uh, 2000 or 2001. Oh, really? One of, this was one of the last N64 games. I knew that, but I couldn't. Okay. It had to have been 2000 because it came out two years after Ocarina, which was okay. 98, 98. So I know this stuff. I have I have the dates memorized for all the games. <laughs> and then uh, Wind Waker came out like two or three years after this, something years like that. Dancing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wind Waker came out what? Uh, Wind Waker came out two years after this. Two years? Whoa, that's fast. That's, I know that's really Wait, fast. It came out in two years after. Yeah, it came out in two thousand two. I was in third grade when it came out. Yeah, Whoa. I was I was in fourth grade. I oh, believe, okay, so, so that yeah. sounds right. Yeah, I think I told this story, uh, so I'll keep it brief. But yeah, Wind Waker was the first game I had to like save up money for and buy, and I had to like do a bunch of extra chores so I'd be able to afford the sixty bucks. Mm. Um, by the time I can't, oh, I thought I could spin him from the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You're not gonna kill him and get the. Oh no, you you I, don't get a gold I mean, skull tell. I can. Uh, no, no, no. There's nah, no, there's no, there's no, no gold point. skull tools. School Instead, tool there's the fairy collecting. <laughs> uh, um, that's one thing that they made way easier in the. Um, the remake there's like it's easier to find your fairies what ones are missing how many you're missing stuff like that it's easier to keep track of everything the overall. bomber notebook is crazy in the remake it's super nice you can also like kind of save whenever in this one you have to um you have to do... find a freaking owl statue yeah it's just it's funny how they brought that back in skyward sword i keep forgetting that in skyward sword well, no you don't have to you have to reset time well well, well yeah, i mean in skyward sword in order to save you have to find bird statues which you, you, you can't save whenever you want. Really? I don't even remember that. Oh. Oh, I do. It's like you it's like you want to go to the sky or save? 
Oh yeah. Need a statue. I, I always thought that was. I wonder why and they talking did that. to it took forever. Yeah. It's like, hello, I am a bird statue. You are looking at me. Your eyes are are processing the image you are seeing. Uh -huh. Light is uh, emitting in wavelengths, which are bouncing into your eyeballs, and the neurons are firing in your brain, and you are receiving the transmission. Your ears are also firing because I am making sound waves. Oh yeah, um, I showed Elliot earlier today. Um, I showed him this video made by Arlo talking about Oops. how he's not looking forward to uh, Skyward Sword HD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elliot has really been looking forward to that game for a while now. Yeah, uh, it's not my favorite one, but I did, I did like it. Um, but there, I do agree with almost everything Arlo said. Like, there are a lot of things about that game, and I was just like, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I think it's good, not great. I, I think I probably will try it again on Switch, just because yeah. the new frame rate looks good. And I, getting to play it with a right stick with swinging the sword, they better make that available with console play, in docked play, not just hand. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I just assumed it would be. I, like, I would assume, assume that too. If, if they don't do that, that's going to be a huge, like... Pfft. Huge bummer. That'd be incredibly dumb. Huge bummer. I... Because I, I remember when Skyward Sword first came out, I was thinking, like, yeah, I mean, I can imagine using the right stick for this. It, it, it makes sense. You know? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go fast forward time. Are we? Yeah. Okay, cool. Talk to the lady. Because we're, we're ready. We're ready. There's nothing else I really want to do right now. Yeah, that, that was kind of my issue. When I first played this, I was like, why do I have to wait so long for yeah, the man. third day to end? This is taking forever. This is one of the few games on N64 that required a uh, an expansion pack. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wonder why that is. Till morning. Tell me a story. Oh, for my ears. I want to hear the story. Whew, are you awake? <laughs> Jen says no. Hello. Tortoise? Did she just call you a tortoise? What? Did you... Oh, tortoise, are you ready? Oh, she's, she's blind. She thinks you're somebody else. <laughs> yeah, she thinks I'm like her kid or something. Uh, eh, I love that animation, dude. I'm jumping up on the door. Yeah, hopping up on the door. <laughs> yeah, like, there's a lot of little cute things like that that are really cool in this game. It's just... Yeah. I'm gonna try and not, like, talk too much about how it's not my favorite. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be that guy, you know? Yeah, so one, one of the reasons that I think this game kind of, like, has all of these really unique features and, like, just design philosophies is because... This reused the same engine and a lot of assets from it, uh, Ocarina of Time. So like like the Malin and Ingo's character models. You yeah. see them multiple times. It's like, wait, aren't you Malin? Yeah. From this other game? What? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Made it quick. It's cool, though. And because of that, I think they're just like, man, we just got to get a game done. Let's go. Yeah, you see, we, everybody was hoping they would do the same thing with Breath of the Wild, too. But unfortunately, COVID kind of got in the way of that, as far yeah. as I'm aware of. Uh, COVID kind of slowed down Nintendo, as far as I've heard, because uh, apparently over in Japan, they're not used to uh, working from home as much. They're a little bit more traditional in that... Uh, butts like, and seats? Like, in the office. Yeah, butts and seats. Yeah, butts and seats, sure. Yeah. And, and uh, I've never heard that phrase before. Oh, so. <laughs> I've heard a few places. Um. So, so yeah, apparently... I, I, assume, I assume they've had to, like, get used to that, and I don't know. Oh, oh, oh it's me, Santa! I want some bombs! <laughs> hey! He's like, You can't use hey, any of them? What's up, dude? Yeah, I got a tattoo on my head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's up, bro? Doesn't this cost, like, a bajillion? Wait, what? 50 rupees. Wait, what? No, you don't just buy the bomb bag for 50 rupees, do you? Yeah, that's what it says. What? Yeah. I... No. Yeah. Was that really how you get the bomb bag in this game? There's probably another way to get it. Yo, let's get rich. I have 33 rupees in there, so I got 40 rupees. We need 10 mother freaking rupees. Wait, so you just got to go to the bank, right? No, because that's 33 rupees. I wonder why... It, so we need 10 more. It's kind of cool how they, they never explain why the, the bank... Yeah, is they able, do. Is, how is it able to keep track of all your money even as time goes back and forth? Yeah, they, they show you. Let me stamp your hand. So your hand is stamped. So even though you go back in time, you still have a stamped hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. so they're like, oh, yeah. I mean, I think I said this once on Royal Goobs, maybe. But um, the reason that the phrase, you're broke, is a thing is because you used to carry around a tablet. 
and the tablet would show how much money you had mm -hmm. and then when you had no more money they would break your tablet oh um, really that's what i heard i could be <laughs> spreading misinformation but that is what i heard in like an ancient greece yeah is yeah, that what they did or like rome dude it's, yeah. it's funny that you bring that up I, I actually you'll never guess what disney movie i watched a few days ago uh i Hercules? Yeah, I decided to rewatch Hercules. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, looks like you're fucked. Because you just said there's no way I'll guess what you just watched. And guess what I just guessed on the first guess? Because you brought it up when I said, when you said ancient Greece. Hmm, it's almost like it was contextual, and I used that information to make an educated guess. And guess who looks real dumb right now? Huh? You got some egg on your face or what, Mr. Hercules? You'll never guess what I watched. Hey, it's the final day, bro. Oh, shit. So you watched Hercules? Yes, I did. <laughs> Nice. The it was cool. Yeah. I, <laughs> I forgot how good the songs are in that movie. I watched Hook with Jen last weekend. Oh, uh, really? Last week, two weekends ago. Um, oh, I haven't seen Hook. And, uh, and I, I, I didn't watch that movie until college, actually. It wasn't as great as I remembered. I remember yeah. loving it when I was a kid. I was like, this movie is the greatest feat of human creation of all time. <laughs> and then instead, I was just like, hmm. There's even a fucking scene that was really weird. He, like... Oh, what was it? It's like young Peter or something. And he's like, yeah, he's like talking to Wendy, old Wendy. Uh -huh. And he's like, Peter, that's my granddaughter. You can't, I can't come with you to Neverland. She'll be disappointed. I can't come anymore. And he's like, well, I'll stay. I'm going to give her a kiss. And he's like, oh, Peter. And he's like a real kiss. And she's like asleep. And he just like goes over and he's like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it. what the fuck is going on here? He kisses her on the mouth. Yeah, I don't think it shows it, but yeah, basically she's asleep and he's just like, hey. I mean, they're both kids. Yeah, right? still, it's a it little still fucking a little weird, weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey there, Wendy's granddaughter, I got something for you. Yeah, I, I don't remember that part. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was weird, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a bit, uh. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Peter Pan, uh, like Pepe Le Pew. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're telling me about that today, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was talking to Elliot and Jen about how Pepe Le Pew isn't gonna be in Space Jam too. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, and I kind of understand oh, why. Oh shit! Guess who got bombed? Nice dude. I don't know, it counts with twenty bombs. I didn't know you could throw bombs. As can you throw you bombs? As... No. You okay, know. but you, you'll use them once you turn back into a human. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Unfortunately, I won't have 20 bombs, so maybe I just made a bit of a mistake. Maybe I should have kept the money in the bank, and then the first thing I do is go buy the bombs, whatever. Mm. Oh, that's too late. Yeah. We're going to get my... After we get this mask off, we're going to get my favorite mask. So, if you guys didn't know about this game, I don't, I don't want to, like, spoil too much, but... There are a lot of masks you collect. Right now I have none, but this whole page fills up with masks. And in the bottom right is the mask we're after. The great mm. deity's mask. Oh, cool. Pretty dope. I have never I never got that mask when I played this game. Wow. That's an interesting drawing of Link. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's me, Link! You might know me from the computer game. Um, Zelda's farm! I uh you know, I, I love use I loved using the fierce deity. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. I, sorry, God, sorry. I just, uh, you accidentally. How do you keep doing that? Me. God damn it! Me. Um, I I I loved using the fierce fierce deity uh, <laughs> costume in Smash Brothers, but the fierce uh, doo doo mask. Fierce doo doo mask, yeah, exactly. So how do we how do we speed up time we to can't. we can't? Oh, we have to just wait it out now. I can maybe try and go back. I don't think she'll let me though. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're just gonna have to pass the time or fast yeah, forward. Yeah, we're just chilling. Okay. Watch, someone's gonna be like, Excuse me, actually, you know, if you talk to the scarecrow, you can fast forward time again in the first day. You know, I once did that voice. I, I've done that voice a few times on my channel for what? like comic dubs. The, hey guys, this is, you know, the stereotypical geek hey, voice we do this. Would you like to me? I, I don't know if you remember it, but there was a comic I made, uh, or a comic I dubbed with, uh, it was with Solid Snake and Otacon, 
And for Otacon, I use that voice. And one person in the comments section actually said, Oh, wow, listen to that voice. I'm actually low-key offended by it. And I'm like, oh. oh okay. they're, they're probably joking. Uh, they seemed a little serious. Well, you should tell them to pound sand, because they're a little bitch. Well, I mean, I wasn't upset by it. I was, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm mad. But I was just On thinking, your behalf, I'm bad for you. Oh, yeah. I'm I, just kidding. I, I could tell. My voice actually kind of hurts from doing that. I'm not going to do it again. The really gravelly voice. I can do the, like, really gravelly voice pretty well, but it hurts the fuck out of my throat. Oh, yeah, one thing people, some people might be shocked by hey, is how Jen. much we swear on this show. Look at that. Look at him. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I, I don't think we've been swearing that much this time. Uh, I don't know. We'll listen back on it and see. It's just, I, I, on, on my own channel, I try not to swear Oops. at all. God damn it. At least with my new videos. Oh, yeah. I mean, partially because I know that if I make... If Ask Mario gets really big... Yeah. And if I accidentally put in any oh, offensive jokes if, that... Need... when. Okay, when. When, bro. When it gets bigger and bigger. I know I have to be extra... Ca knowing what happened with Super Mario Logan recently. Oh. Uh, but then again, his videos are generally way more edgy with the offensive humor. Mine is pretty, like, kid-friendly for the most part, but... I don't know what that is. It's uh, it's that puppet show with uh, the Mario characters. I, oh, I, you were telling me about it recently. I I showed you the ah, one where Moon Boogers. I showed you the one where Cody the, is the magician. Oh, and, that one was funny, dude. Yeah, it wasn't that Those good. Those guys were funny. He's like, stop showing me the card, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that one was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, it's a, I I think that show is generally kind of like a lot of it's okay, but then a lot of it's also really funny. Oh. In a in it's very juvenile, but in a really clever way. Dude, that one was hilarious. I know that one, that is probably my favorite video they've ever done. It's really <laughs> damn funny. Um. But yeah, like they recently got a, a cease and desist from Nintendo. They, what? Yeah, they, they can't use their official Nintendo merchandise in their videos anymore because oh. because a lot of their jokes are very South Parky, oh, very like a lot of prejudiced humor. Is that why though, or is it just because yeah. they're profiting off of their merch and it's, copyrighted? It's I think it's no, I, I think it's because of like the really messed up humor. They they don't want their characters associated with that, so. Uh. Yeah, th th that's at least at least that's what it said in the official letter. Oh, okay. I'm just putting this out there. Uh, -huh. uh a lot of big IPs like Nintendo like to protect their shit like yeah. at all. They're like, "Yeah, you can't use a drawing of Mario cuz that's ours, dog." <laughs> I, like for a while, they were going after people who would like stream their games. Yeah. It wasn't until recently that they're like I guess it's okay if you make a YouTube video with our content in it. But for a while, they're like, yeah, you're going to have to pay us money if you want to make a Let's Play of Majora's Mask. I'm like, bitch, I'm making people interested in your game. Yeah, it's like we're giving you free advertising. Yeah, bro. It's... Uh, Suck my nuts. It's... Nintendo has kind of... They're so old school with that they, shit. They've got, they have slowly gotten better. Like, they, yeah, like they for, for Let's Plays, you no longer have to like be a part of the Nintendo partner program. program you don't have to do that anymore they changed yeah. that like a year or two ago I know, so but that was that's so gotten crazy better to me. but they're, they're still kind of backwards and forwards in different ways they nintendo's are. a very i absolutely love nintendo me too it's a wonderful company it's my favorite but gaming company. it's it's still a company full of people people are flawed and people yeah. make decisions that aren't always the, the pair the pummela i will pummel the moon oh we're, we're 18 minutes in that's uh, all right let's Let's end the episode with what happens here. Uh, okay. This kind of this kind of fun. You know, we're like I said, these these episodes. I don't know. We'll just we'll throw them out there. We'll throw them out there. I I, I remember there's one part where like you can go into the mayor's office yeah. and you get the two people standing next to him arguing like, no, we need to stay because the ceremony's important. And the other guy's like, no, we gotta get the hell out of here. We're gonna <laughs> die. And the mayor's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything. Could you please eat my burrito? Who did that? Who did that? Jen's actually hanging out with us. Jen never hangs out with us when we record. She's just chilling here. Jen's doing donors. laps. Jen's. We don't have a place to. <laughs> True, in the apartment it was kind of like, what are you gonna fucking do? Yeah. Like walk in front of the TV? Yeah. Jen's walking in circles behind us right now. She's getting her steps, steps in for today. <laughs> she's trying to get fit for the wedding. Get fit for the wedding. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Swamp, ass, smelly. Smells. <laughs> These are the powers of burrito time. What the? 
School kid, give me my butt juice back. I'm going to smoke it all. I'm going to smoke it all. <laughs> so basically, the moon is going to crash into the planet and it's all going to blow up. Butt juice! The power invigorates me. That, that kind of voice hurts my throat. Ah, uh, okay. So I'll just keep doing it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow you'll sound like a dude who's been smoking since he was like three years old. <laughs> oh, oh, let's not him. It's not Rocket. The power of Cletus. Ah, good old Z targeting. <laughs> oh my god! I love that the dramatic. <laughs> I've been snotted! <laughs> oh! What happens if you do nothing? Does he try to get it? What? Does he try to pick the ocarina back up? Oh, I, I think he just chills. Oh, okay. Memories of Princess Zelda. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that princess. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the game that, uh, this is one of the most important games in the Zelda timeline that they invented eventually just to appease the fans. Yeah, isn't this a secondary timeline, though? Yeah. This is like if Link failed? No, this is... This a, is if Link succeeded? This is the Link succeeding timeline because okay. he goes back in, he goes back in time, which creates a new timeline. And I don't know if... And then he leaves, because I don't know why. He's looking for Navi. He's oh, trying to find Navi. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if this young Zelda remembers the events of Ocarina of Time, where they fought Ganon. I don't know if she does or not. Nintendo... My my theory is Nintendo doesn't really plan any of it out. They, they plan on making a good game first, and then they kind of make up the story as they go. Same with the timeline crap. I yeah. think I don't. I don't think. Um. They... Um. So. Um. What if. What if. Um. Zelda. Was, uh. What if. What if Zelda was. Um. Uh. A character and. Um. Maybe. What if she was from three different cities and. Uh. Maybe the city could actually be one city and. Um. Maybe she does things that. Um. Um. Meeting adjourned. That's the story, right, guys? Okay. <laughs> No, the, the fans have, like, gone to so much. The fans always care way more about the stories in N Nintendo oh, yeah. games than Nintendo themselves. <laughs> and you play the song of time. Like, using their characters. I and... will aid you. <laughs> like, I don't think Nintendo really gives a crap about having Wario and Waluigi in their games, but the fans are like, No, we need them in a game. No, 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 no. What are you doing? The number one. I'm going to lose them, my dude. I'm going to lose the All right. Yep. So now you gotta play the ocarina. You gotta assign it. I'm line dancing. Okay. <laughs> play <the song. laughs> what the fuck? What the? What are you doing? Play the song. I did. I just gave a little jazz. It is pretty cool how each transformation has its own instrument. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you all back on the first day. Three days ago. No, 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 no. My bombs! They all gone, dog. <sighs> That's like losing all your stuff and having to get it back again. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what the hell? It's me again? I was confused. I was like, wait, what? We no. didn't go back this far. I forgot this cutscene plays automatically, so <laughs> we'll let everyone watch it first. Oh, hey, it's me again. You want a futon? What in the what in the what in the what in the what? Yeah, see, this is such a creative idea. You know, it's just it's just like Groundhog Day, which I I've never seen that movie with Bill Murray. But well, you know, here we cool. is. We're back to the beginning of the game. Okay, okay. See you guys later. Um, in the next one. Oh, uh, or ne it's still never going. gonna end. Oh my God, the moon's back up there. I can't see his moon boogers.
Oh, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. Oh my god. This is all so mentally stimulating. Uh, freaking. Oh my god. The first three days are fucking bullshit. Ah, uh, finally, we're past it. Ugh. All right, let's never play this game again. Bye. Bye.